Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is still Tuesday, March 30th, and it's 11.08 a.m., and I've got, to do, I've got to read you this before I go lay down for this morning. Oh, I should, and don't worry about that. I know what it is. It's texting. My sisters are texting, and I'm in a mass text with them. Anyway, here it is, and I would not take this as a joke. Just if, let me read it, and you you know, you take it for what you want, but I believe it could very well be true, seeing how all these different things are going on these days. All right, seriously, this is not a joke or humorous. Please take seriously. Warning from police. This is the new thing these days with people out of work and needing cash. Beware, it's headed our way. Warning, warning, warning. It's asking to forward the email, but, uh, and I could do that. Uh, I could do that, but I don't have everybody's email address. And the ones I do have, I don't know if they're still listening to me. I might go ahead and do that, so you might get this in an email, but I'm not doing that until after my nap because that, I got a lot of people in my email and unfortunately, a lot of people I love that I do not. All right, so let me read it. Just last weekend, let's see, this is dated. Well, who knows? It's been forwarded and then forwarded and then forwarded to me. So it could have been going on all March for all I know. Just last weekend on Friday night, we parked in a public parking area. As we drove away, I noticed a sticker on the rear window of the car. When I took it off after I got home, it was a receipt for gas. Luckily, my friend told me not to stop, as it could be someone waiting for me to get out of the car. Then we received this email yesterday. Warning from police. This applies to both women and men. Beware of paper on the back window of your vehicle. New way to do carjackings. Not a joke. Heads up, everyone. Please keep this circulating. You walk across the parking lot. Unlock your car and get inside. You start the engine and shift into reverse. When you look into the rear view mirror to back out of your parking space, you notice a piece of paper stuck to the middle of the rear window. So you shift into park, unlock your doors, and jump out of your car to remove that paper or whatever it is that is obstructing your view. When you reach the back of your car, that is when the carjackers appear out of nowhere, jump into your car, and take off. They practically mow you down as they speed off in your car. And guess what, ladies? I bet your purse is still in the car. So now the carjacker has your car, your home address, your money, and your keys. Your home and your whole identity are now compromised. Beware of this new scheme that is now being used. Oh, and let's add, how about your cell phone? That could, oh boy, if you see a piece of paper. Stuck to your back window, just drive away. Remove the paper later and be thankful that you read this email. I would go to the police department and let them remove the paper to see if they could get fingerprints off of it. And why wouldn't the police tell them that? Oh, wait. They don't have a car. Wait a minute. When you get home... 
Here's the paper. You could call the police and ask them to come take the paper off, put it in an evidence bag, and see if they could find fingerprints on it. See, that ought to say that in this, shouldn't it? Anyway, if it's a scare tactic, fine. But if you do see a piece of paper, I didn't finish it. It says, remove the paper later and be thankful that you read this email. I hope you will forward this to friends and family, especially to women. A purse contains all kinds of personal information and identification documents, and you certainly do not want this to fall into the wrong hands. Please keep this going and tell all your friends. Okay, it could be a chain letter. I would. It says from Jane, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Okay, Jane, this probably originated from Jane, and she's obviously a Christian. I used to have a scripture under my title, but I can't figure out how to do it on this MacBook Pro. All right. I mean, under my name. So, don't just blow it off as a joke because it's saying this is not a joke. All right. We don't have to worry. We don't have to fear. Just go straight to your car. Get in. Lock the doors first thing. These are things we should always do. And tell your driving daughters, please, or anyone else that has, tell, let's pass it on. What's the harm? Just be aware of a piece of paper in your back window. I don't know how unless they taped it there. How would it be there? With a piece of gum? In the middle of your back window. Well, however it's there, just ignore it until you get home. And then call the police. If you don't want to, leave it there till morning if it's late. Because it could be an hour or two before they come. But if this is something that's truly going around, I would think they would want to take that piece of paper off the car in, in the manner that they do, the way they handle evidence with gloves, put it in an evidence bag, take it back, and dust it for prints. You can dust a piece of paper for prints. They know how to do it. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that. You think about it as to whether you want to pass it on, type it up in the email. I'll put it in the description box, and it'll be there that you can copy and paste into an email, okay? All right, so with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.